What's up gamers? So Bungie have finally confirmed the worst kept secret in gaming at the minute and that is the final shape will be delayed. They released a new article about a couple of hours ago and it says, hey everyone, we'll keep it short and simple. The final shape needs more time to become exactly what we want it to be. So we're moving its release date to June the 4th, 2024. And below that, they go on to say the final shape is the culmination of the first 10 years of Destiny storytelling and, for Guardians everywhere, countless hours spent together. We want to honour that journey, so we're taking the time we need to deliver an even bigger and bolder vision, one that we hope will be remembered and treasured for years to come. Naturally, this change brings up questions about our upcoming release calendar. Season of the Wish begins tomorrow and will extend until the launch of the final shape in June, so a big long season here guys. While the majority of content and narrative for Season of the Wish will run from late November to February as originally planned, the team is doing or adding new content available for all players to jump into until the launch of the final shape. In February, this will include new weekly progression based quests called Wishes and the launch of Moments of Triumph with unique rewards. Next, we're moving Guardian Games up to March with a refresh focus on class versus class competition. Then, beginning of April, we're delivering a two-month content update available to everyone called Destiny 2 Into the Light, which will, prepare, which will prepare players for their Guardian's journey into the Traveller. All of this is in addition to the ongoing efforts from our PvP strike team, including three new PvP maps dropping in May. We know you're eager to get your hands on the final shape. In that sense, delays aren't fun. For our part, we are excited to have the extra time needed to bring our vision for the final shape to life for all of you. We're looking forward to sharing much more in April, including all new gameplay to showcase the significant content additions currently in development. Thanks for reading and for being on this journey with us, D2 Dev Team. So there we have it, guys. Finally, the confirmation we've just all been wanting. And after this, Joe Blackburn released a video. He basically expands on what we've just read. He goes into a little bit more detail. It's not a long video, about six minutes. I'll link it down in the description. But he basically went on to say about Fireteam Finder that it will change the way we interact with D2 and it will roll out in limited windows with limited activities. This is because the dev team can collect all the data to see how the servers hold up. And then from there, they will make changes for the better to make it a better experience for us so the vinyl version will allow us to use LFG for Rage, Dungeons, PvP, or whatever allows a group. He then mentions Checkmate, which is the new PvP game mode. And he says this will be available on the main playlist. And what they want to do is take the rule changes from that mode or the ones that work well, and then they're going to add them to their core playlists. So what I take from that is you're going to get them rules in Checkmate are going to be added to all the other game modes in the playlist. I'm not a PvP person personally, so I can't comment too much on that, but I'm just glad PvP guys are getting a bit of a change. He also mentioned that there'll be a new PvP map pack, the three maps on Europa, Neonuma, and the Pyramid. So again, a bit more for the PvP guys. I'm happy for you. If the changes are fun, I'm probably going to start jumping in and playing Crucible again. And then he goes on to say, February will start slow with moments of triumph, and Wishes. Wishes are new progression reward centric weekly quests, so I look forward to seeing what they are. And March, we'll see Guardian Games, they're going to push that forward. And then in April and May, we will see the new content update Into the Light. This is built for players that are old and new, and they will give more details later. That's all we know so far. He also then goes on to say most of the team are working on a final shape, and that they have been holding their cards close to their chest and they want to show us the systems and gameplay rather than tell us. So what they want to do is let the content they show us speaks for itself, and that will be in April. Well, that's when they're going to show us. We'll probably get a new Viadoc then or something, probably along those lines, a typical bungee drop before a big expansion. So I just want to end the video with my thoughts on today's update, and that is that I'm glad they finally confirmed the delay. And personally, I think it's good. The final saga in this 10-year story has to be top tier, up there with Forsaken and the Taken King, that's my opinion. I don't think it can be any less than that. That is the standard they need to set. In terms of what they said previously, that they want it to be in line with Forsaken and Taken King, if you think back, Forsaken gave us a ton of new stuff in the form of subclasses, Gambit, 
two new destinations, a new enemy faction, Blind Well, the first ever dungeon, plus the last wish raid. And that was all on top of the story, which was absolutely great. If the final shape is anything near Forsaken or the Taken King, I'll be extremely happy. The fact they want to keep details hush until they can actually show us fills me with a bit of confidence. Bungie have done enough talking in the past. It's time to over deliver like they did in Forsaken and Taken King. The Fireteam Finder is something I'm personally looking forward to and I'm glad they're taking it step by step. It's obviously complex, but when it's flushed out, it will be an absolute game changer, especially for the solo community and people that aren't necessarily too confident to be on mic because not everyone wants to be in a Discord lobby, in a PlayStation lobby, Xbox lobby, etc. People just like to link up with people and play the game. Not everyone goes on Discord LFG and the Destiny website. If people just want to access it in the game, it's going to be an absolute game changer. PvP, I'm happy for the PvP community. I'm happy they're getting updates, new maps, new game modes possibly. And if they're good, I'm probably going to start playing Crucible again. I do miss playing it, but it's just not for me right now. In terms of updates, the wishes sound interesting. Any activity that rewards players' time always piques my interest. And I'm really intrigued by the Into the Light update, a two-month event update for all players, old or new, to dive into. And I'm hoping that the loot or anything that we receive in this update can be carried forward into the final shape. Personally, I thought Joe handled that video extremely well considering the past few months. Talking at the camera just adds a bit of a personal touch. Overall, a new season tomorrow, new dungeon on Friday, new updates rolling out before June, and hopefully a new invigorated Bungie. Maybe I'm reaching on that last one there. But that is all I've got to say for now, guys. Expect lots more videos coming out in the next week or two with the new season. Going to get back on doing the Lost Sectors as well. I've really missed doing them. But guys, as always, thanks for your time. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.